Good morning. Are we here, everyone? We're here. Turn this fan off. Running like two minutes behind, maybe three minutes, maybe four minutes behind this morning because my internet decided to disconnect to this computer um, the moment where I was ready to start. So now I have gone in, tried to fix it. And uh, yeah, we're here. We're present. <clears throat> Brad, what pencil eraser would be best? for mapping classic text adventures. Um, Pentel Sharp P205 Tombow Mono Eraser. I'm going with that that Pentel because that, pen, that Pentel's been around since the 70s, maybe even earlier, since we started mapping those games, right? In the 70s, we were mapping, in the 80s, we were mapping those games. That's the pencil that you use for that. Um, so it's like, Tailor made, and they still haven't really changed the design of that pencil since I was a kid. And so, like, that is that's the move, I think. It's got to be the P205. The real question is what paper? I was going to say the answer is just regular copy paper that you steal, but continuous roll printer paper with the dots on the edge. Nice. Spoke design mana mechanical pencil. What? I mean, like this? What? like this what I need to get my uh, I need to get my stream deck set to swap my scene scenes easier and put them like on my left hand <clears throat> um, so I can so I can access these things better um, I remember my dad having that pencil around when I was a kid yeah that's the pencil that I stole from my dad's desk when I would go to work with him so and he always had the point seven which was the blue barrel and I always had to hunt for the point five which is the black barrel um you'd sometimes see the point nine which was the mustard yellow barrel but you would never see the point three which is the green barrel so yeah the black barrel was the winner the blue barrel was the most used though i think i'm listening i'm i'm hearing something here locally like speakers buzzing or something so i don't think y'all can hear it it's very, very faint. Let me know if you hear something weird besides me talking. Um, if I ever think I try to steal it, he'd have beat me, though. Yeah, probably deservedly so. Deservedly so. Um, I think my dad knew I was even into stationery back then because it was his dad that was the one that was taking me to the to the art supply stores and the bookstores and things like that. So, Blue P207 was the jam. Had the jam had the P209 in college. Yeah. I never had the 03 growing up actually i've never owned an 03 a classic 03 green one i might have some weird barrel 03 laying around somewhere but i've never had a traditional um p203 i should probably just get one of those for like nostalgia purposes but i don't i just don't like the point point three mechanical lead for all the fine nibs and points and things that i talk about um point three mechanical pencils don't really do it for me not not my thing so adulthood is very overrated i do not recommend it we have a busy busy stream today i've had the boxes piling up i've actually made a mistake in thinking about what boxes i have i actually have two from pen chalet which means i'm getting both of the pens um one that i've had on back order or pre-order and then one that I just ordered last week, one big box from Jet Pens, and then one box from Namisu. So we're gonna open all these stuff, all these, all these things, all this stuff. What's chat thoughts on something like as like a Parker Vacuumatic as a first vintage pen? First, love the looks of them. I think that's a really good choice. That was one of my first Auburn fan. Just in my opinion, and some people might disagree with me, I'm gonna go ahead and pay the premium for someone who I know is a good restorer of those pens, so you know that it is. Um, ready to rock right when you get it embargo unboxing so aaron i have taken those products that were formerly on this desk they are not even in this room right now it's funny i opened one of the boxes yesterday hair i did get a did get a haircut got the grays coming out on the sides now so i open um i opened the first box and on top of that before anything was a printed sheet do not share before july 30th and i feel i feel attacked <laughs> chad i felt attacked i will share that i saved that uh i saved that note for the embargo day 
Yeah, it was literally like the top thing on the box. Like they did, they were smart. They didn't put it like underneath. Like that was the one, the one that I did early. Like all the paperwork was at the bottom. I was like, oh, cool. What is this? What is this? I should read this. Don't share until the next day. So whatever, whatever. <sighs> yes, they knew me. I, I felt personally attacked by that. It was, it was kind of funny, even though I'm sure they sent it to everybody. Everyone and their mother will be, uh, We'll, we'll have some similar content on July the 30th. I believe that's the date. What I don't even know what day is that. What day is July the 30th, chat? What's today? The 22nd, so Friday, week from tomorrow. So, Friday launch. I guess it's before the, uh, when's the DC pin show? Is it the following weekend? Idiot proof embargo boxes. Yeah, they did. they did a good job there. DC is the following weekend. Okay. Special unboxing stream. I could do that on Friday. Maybe we'll do that. I mean, I've already technically unboxed it. <laughs> yeah. That actually, Tony, they should have printed that sheet that they sent to everyone and have a little note at the bottom, especially Brad. <laughs> <laughs> matches baseball trade deadline we should have a trade deadline and will be the show stream that night we'll do that maybe we'll do a we'll do that will be a short unboxing because friday's my writing day we know this um so yeah let's let's tentatively plan on that like you said even though i've unboxed them i might have i might have uh i don't want to say too much i might have the product in use by then so it won't be like uh a pure unboxing and it'll probably y'all probably know what it is um before that time anyway so yeah but it's it's i'm very happy um to be able to share these things now that's one thing the second thing is a much later embargo um because i'm doing some testing like some pre some pre-testing stuff i feel like i feel like the yankees should trade everyone that's on the covid list oof the product is the brand new box on boxer yes so yeah we will tend on hey oh for a hey pin geek so tentatively next Friday. We'll talk about it next week. Um, unless it gets uh, broken earlier. I'm sure just re it's a retail. It's just something that retailers will have. And I'm sure they will launch it like all at the same time. Retailers are pretty good about not um, not doing things ahead of time. right? Because they have to manage their relationships too. So anyway. That was me. But I did feel seen. Uh, you need to not bring it in the stream room. I'm... I had one of the products already back in my on my other desk and I had the other one on this desk this morning and I physically removed it from the room. So, anyway. Hey Brad, do you ever find vintage and vintage pins at antique stores buy you buy at a bargain price like 200 for $10? Um, you can find that stuff. I haven't personally also, I don't even know that I would buy them for $10 because that's not my thing, right? But, like, I could see where that would be people's thing where they could buy, like, you know, a bunch of pens for a small a small price and restore them, fix them up. You just assume it's not going to work. And um, But I do like seeing that stuff. I would be more – I'm more of a person who if I went to that same place and lucked on some, like, random ink bottles – or some, you know, memorabilia type stuff as opposed to actually the technic the pen itself. <laughs> Got a Parker fifty one in perfect working condition. Yeah, see that's amazing. I would I would totally do that. The more frequent antique store find is a one dollar pen marked for twenty or twenty five. That's true. So yeah, I don't think I've ever bought pens that way, but I have bought like accessories, if you will. Yeah, you know, I've definitely bought some vintage ink bottles just for like display stuff. <laughs> Did you get your new pen from Pen Shelley? Pen uh, ad, addict. That's me. Pen, pen addict is me. <laughs> I was reading that like someone else. Um, I got two new pens from Pen Shelley. We're gonna unbox this. Unbox those today. <clears throat> so we're just gonna. Um, I think I'm gonna go. We'll save the Pen Shelley ones for last. We'll do the Namisu first because I can't even remember what this pen is that I backed on Kickstarter. I'm pretty sure that's a um, Namisu. Uh, Namisu Kickstarter pin. I was sent a classic stealth Namiki Vanishing Point instead of the modern one I ordered. Interesting. What is that from? Is that like a, a just did that just happen? Head full of ideas. The 
because I, I like those classic. I have the faceted, faceted, classic, black, all black vanishing point. That's an awesome pen. Awesome pen. That's what I feel like doing. Yeah, if it's Mark Namiki, keep it. Yeah. Like, that sounds like a win, not like a mistake. <laughs> that sounds like a W. So just depending on the condition and, and what was should have happened. But uh, I'll have to bring that... Uh, I'll have to bring that one in here sometime. I haven't inked that pen up in a while. I, I need to ink that pen up. I need, I guess I, I have several pens that I want to ink, ink up, but I have too many pens inked up already. So we're probably going to have to do a cleaning here in the next week or so. I'm really, uh, I'm really enjoying the Leonardo, enjoying the Shone, enjoying my new Ajoto. I'm staring at them all over here on the Smand. Smand. Um, I'm enjoying my Nakaya. I'm enjoying my Milky Way. I'm enjoying everything I have inked up right now. So, and then I have two, three new fountain pens right here that we haven't even unboxed yet. So, I'll never understand how UPS, USPS routes things. Shown pen went from Philly to Newark to you. Nice. Brad, what vintage pen items do you have, including vintage pens? So, the vintage pens that I actually use are a i have two parker vacuumatics one gray stripe like the smaller model i don't know the the size scale of the um um that pen <laughs> um i don't know what size scale it is it's it's a it's one of the, it's not like the smallest but it's a pretty small vacuumatic um then i have a golden web vacuumatic and then i have a parker 61 i think it is with the, I don't know, octanium nib or something like that, just like a black and silver one. I think it's a 61, like it looks exactly, like I wouldn't know the difference, I wouldn't know the difference between it and a 51, but the person who gave it to me told me it's a, actually a 61. Um, and then I have um, some Schaefer uh, Tuckaways, which I really, really like. I have two or three Schaefer Tuckaways, and then I have one more full-size Schaefer, I can't think of the name of it, and then that's kind of about it for like the vintage pins that I own that I actually use. That's what maybe five or six. Um, and I really like, I'm good. Like, I feel like I'm covered on that. The ba shape or balance. Yeah. You know, a more traditional looking pin, full size, standard clip. Really, really pretty. We'll do a vintage pin stream one day, Bruce, where I'll, I'll bring those in. Cause it's, it, it would be a quick stream. It's like, I think it's literally like five pins or six, whatever I said. So, yeah, it's really, really good. Just used an ultrasonic cleaner for the first time yesterday. So much easier than cleaning every pen individually. Any tips for those? Yeah, I don't have any super tips. So what uh, what Namiki Winter Vlad's saying, don't use more than 10 minutes on any pen at one time. I also wouldn't use on fragile vintage pens. Um, yeah, because it'll just work parts, you know, subtly work parts loose. Don't get me back on my tuck away search again. Luckily, my tuck tucky, the first one I bought, I don't see how I could ever beat it. It was uh, perfect working condition and has a nib that is as fine as any like Japanese extra fine um, pen that I've used. It's a stunner. This is actually a good question, Tony. Is the Mew or Murex a vintage pen? To me, yes. But like, I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight that one to the death, right? To me, those are vintage pens, like like starting in, like in the nineteen seventies maybe, I, but like like I'm not like gonna pound my chest on that one and, and fight to the death for that being the 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 line of demarcation in what's vintage and what's not. I just feel that that design represents a time period that doesn't exist anymore and don't don't get made anymore and that puts them in that vintage category for me so in that case i do have plenty of other vintage i have probably another five vintage pins of that because i have murexes and things like that yeah the m9 the m90 is clearly modern if you're looking for a flex nib pen try a waterman 52 with a flex nib that is, i've tried those bruce and that's just not my jam right the way I, my handwriting is um, I don't benefit greatly from a lot of flex. Like I would just buy it for fun, and if I'm buying a pen for fun, it's I like I don't always do that just because. Toxic Joker, what's up, buddy? How are you doing this morning? 
just signed on late wasn't in dev stream this morning it's been uh it's been getting things done this morning so we just hopped on um if the pins are resin or acrylic is it safe to do the whole nib unit or section um in the ultrasonic i do i mean i i try to take them apart anyway right because that's really how you're going to get it the most clean but i'll still pop them in there you don't always have to do like the the actual physical acrylic section because that comes apart from everything else it's easy to clean but the nib the nib setting the nib unit the feed the collar you can take all that apart and you can just put that in there that's how i do it yeah i just don't use the ultrasonic that much i don't find the benefit to be that great i just end up um cleaning them manually anyway um unless i have something like really really stuck damn it now i'm on ebay why is this happening you join this stream head full of ideas we've given you a literal head full of ideas vintage flexies are the best i do not disagree with that i just don't happen to use them because they don't function for uh, they don't meet my needs right so i'll allocate that money elsewhere i don't pull nibs feeds because i'm lazy and use the ultrasonic to get any ink out i use it for every pen i clean unless it's an arushi section interesting i almost never use my ultrasonic Planning on buying a Waterman 5556? Well, you'll be in the right place at the DC Pen Show. There'll be uh Oh, Brooks. Brooks just got on finally. Twitch. Uninstall, redo. Now you're buffering. Ouch. That sounds rough. Flex is overrated. I think Flex is properly rated. I don't think it's overrated. I don't think it's underrated. I think it's properly rated. Right? Vintage Flex is properly rated. Um... Although there is, there are some like I, I see the how it could be overrated. I have a sink that's dedicated pin cleaning area. That's nice. Yeah, I have to get mine out every time. Bring it to the kitchen counter, plug it in, leave it out there for however long I'm using it, and clean it out later. Hey, good morning, Evan. Like it's fine. Like an ultrasonics cleaner is fine. It's just not necessary. We need a pin cleaning stream again. Yeah, I should probably do that. Actually. Maybe that's one of the streams next week because I was just talking about cleaning a bunch of pins. Um, I don't think I've done a pin cleaning stream with the new camera. I never did get to my pin cleaning last weekend. Got drowned in midterm paper. Hopefully this weekend. Sarah, I really loved uh, your Dragon's Blood review this morning. Yeah, I love your writing so much. And uh, I was just I was just smiling through the whole thing. It was really, really cool. If y'all hadn't seen it, Sarah's um, um, Bennu Dragon Blood. Uh, review went up this morning on the blog <clears throat> pen cleaning asmr yeah especially with the uh the booger suckers man that's some asmr stuff right there Ooh, i'm also getting a new microphone um so maybe it'll, it'll really pick up the uh the booger suckerness of of the cleaning the skill to use a flex pen is acquired through long practice over time hence most users don't know how to use flex vintage or modern factually correct i agree which i choose not to learn how to do it so therefore they don't really fit my needs that much <clears throat> i've never had the privilege of meeting her but i believe i heard it attributed to susan worth that a lot of people get excited over flex really just want an italic uh, i have heard that as well um she would pretty much <laughs> so i'm getting there tessa coco hydrate thank you we have water today ultrasonic cleaner is helpful with my rings the goth type ones have so many nooks and crannies totally like that's what they're great for getting in those nooks and crannies and just getting that gunk out that gets stuck in there that's why i always unlike alan if i can pull the nib and feed from the collar i will yeah it seems on brand for susan until they discover that she's the one that will fingernail clipper <laughs> to get the curse of italic nib on pins that should not really do that <laughs> so also on brand for susan i want my dad to try a stub nib who's looking for an extra fine nib to start writing letters yeah i'd almost start with a stub nib i don't know maybe something broader trying to be brave to eyedropper my ultim i mean look at that you telling me you don't want that in your pen? 
you got this, Carol. I am, I am not totally a freewheeling eyedropper person either, Carol. And this is dead simple, dead easy, and it works. Like this, I have faith in this product. And so far, it's, I mean, you, you can see there's just nothing in here. right i mean there's just it's completely sealed off so go for it if there's any pin you should eyedropper for the first time i, th I think you're safe doing this one i will agree with y'all like i'm not the biggest silicone grease fan like we talked about earlier this week i'm not the biggest silicone grease fan so i would just lazy out and just use a converter a lot of times this one's different and uh it's really good so yeah don't hesitate <clears throat> You got this. You got this. All right, let's start the unboxings because I don't know how long this is going to take us. My jet pens box is large. I can't remember what's in it. I think I just picked up some stuff for reviews and giveaways from uh, jet pens. Did I say jet stream? I feel like I said jet stream. Um, Tessa, I eyedropper everything. I can't do everything. Spand. I didn't buy any more spans, but I still have two more spans here. I need to, I'm going to give away a smand on the blog next week, and then I'll have a third smand I need to figure out what to do with. Totally in bed, looking for a coffee to bed delivery ser service, Jamasaurus. I am with you on that. I did not coffee enough today. All right, first box. We're going to go with the Namisu because I can't remember what this pen is. This was a, uh, all right, let me set this camera up. This was a Kickstarter reward i'm pretty sure so you know box from are we from ireland oh no this is from ohio do they have a shipping u.s shipping distributor there's the corner of this man yeah i'm not joking about this man literally in use all day i've already used the ruler in here this morning because I was in here messing around it's got all my orange pens that I'm using so. all right this is this is unboxing ASMR yeah Numisu is from the UK Kurt Caldi Kurt Caldi oh my gosh I gotta show you all this this is some Amazon level stuff right here. <laughs> this is, you know what this is? This is this is fulfillment center boxing, right? Because I know Namisu's from the UK, but my label is from Ohio. So <laughs> let's just for reference again that's the size of this box oh i thought i was gonna dump out all right <laughs> that box is that big so they um i don't know that they planned correctly to ship these out <laughs> but genie genie thank you so much for your wonderful packing job. I really don't know what just happened with that. That is aggressive. So maybe a Jodo. I appreciate getting a U.S. distributor. May, next next campaign, let's have a conversation, you know, ahead of time. Saying, hey, look, we could do a better job. We could do a better job next time. All right, so what is this called? This is heavy, whatever it is. Apparently it's a... It's the Namisu N1. Apparently, it's a smaller pen. I don't remember what this looks like. I don't know when this campaign filled. I just know it arrived, and it's here, and it's heavy, and I, I'm, I'm in. I'm in for it. <laughs> we can always use bigger boxes to ship baby heads. Ooh, look at that. It's blue. I don't remember any of this. I don't remember any of this at all. I'm excited now. Is that the pen attic pen up in the corner? Yeah. On this it's sitting on the smand. 
You don't have to say up in the corner. You can say up in the smand. Um, nice packaging. So this packaging is a W, right? This package is winning right here. How do I get this out? Ugh. Commanded Lucernega. Thank you for the follow. I'm, I butchered your name. I'm sorry. Um, interesting. What is happening here? So is this is this a fountain pen? Oh, it's a fountain pen. I, I really don't remember this at all. All right, so we have a small-ish knurled fountain pen. This is really good. So let's see. Interesting. Okay. So the cap, okay. I had to figure this out first. All right. One, it's great looking, right? I, I think. I like the clip is really nice. The blue anodized is great. Kind of purplish rounded top. Knurled on the back here. Single in for Namisu. It's a Namisu long short. Yeah, that's a that's a good good way to put it. It's a long short. So Yeah. So then there's it doesn't screw. It's got some O-rings here to I, I remember nothing about this pen. Um but it snaps in, right? So it's got the O-rings here to friction fit it, but there's an actual snap when you close it, which I appreciate. So then the barrel has knurling at the grip, uh, Bach nibs, I guess the number five Bach nibs, knurling at the grip, knurling on the back end of the pen. If you wanna use it just like this, there you go. And then I was wondering when I put the cap back on, I kind of thought it was going to stop back here. And I guess technically you can stop it on the O-rings if you want a longer pin, right? That's stable. That's stable. Um, but you can really just push it all the way down for a shorter pin and you still have an appropriate amount of grip section here, which is interesting. How many cappings will those O-rings last? Yeah, I mean, they, they should, I expect they would last a while. Um, Interesting. So I can actually have a different length barrel and it remains stable. So I can put it right here and the, the grip is, like the grip's not going anywhere, right? If you want a longer pin. So you can have a longer pin like this, right? No problem. Like there's, does it wobble at the joint? No. So then you can, then you can uh, shove it all the way down. It does not wobble here. I mean, you hear that if you hear any rattling, it's probably the converter in here than anything. Um, they did a good job. Brooks with the gifted sub. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you so much. Henry. 1018 enjoy the emotes enjoy the gifted sub the leonardo mango is better in person than even the um the images would lead you to believe what's the point of having so many o-rings so this one's twofold one if you're going to do a metal on metal barrel for a fountain pen this has to seal off here or your nib's going to constantly dry out so that's one Two is for different length postings to keep the um, the cap section in place. All right, so it helps um, it helps tighten that up. So it actually has a dual purpose. Is there a converter in here? I mean, a cartridge in here? There's no cartridge in here. They should probably ship, consider shipping that with the cartridge. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's not a cartridge. They might want to consider shipping that with a cartridge. Just a thought. Side question, was the last episode of the podcast removed? I started lessening yesterday and it's not there anymore. Of the Pananic podcast, like the episode we just released for... 
471. Uh, it's it's here. Should I delete? I'll delete it and I'll read down. Let's see if I'll oh I can re I can re-download it. Yep, it still exists. It is on the Relay Podcast site. Okay, well we'll look into that. But if you subscribe to it through any podcast player, the RSS feed looks like it can pull it down. So, okay, I'll check on that because um, I'll, I will check that because I need that link. So yes, I will check on that after this. So yeah, there we go. I'm surprised it didn't ship with a um, cartridge, but I mean, for me, I don't care. But I think if you have a new user, they're gonna they're gonna be a little bit disappointed in the fact that there's no cartridge with that. You don't see it on Apple. That's interesting because that feed should be universal that I just pulled it down from. Um, size comparisons. Even though this is a gel, uh, gel, the length is about the same for the Kaveco. <laughs> Probably got served at DS, DMCA. <laughs> so maybe maybe a touch shorter, maybe not much shorter than the Kaveco Sports. Apple Podcast has been some doing some things. Apple sometimes delayed, yeah, but they're usually not next day delayed. We're talking like an hour or two delayed. Um, I'm gonna let, let me text Mike while while we're talking about this. Uncapped, I found the link to be identical to an uncapped Kaveco Sport, even though the N1 has a longer nib. Yeah. All right, I texted Mike. And uh, he's on it. He probably, he's already answered this question. Okay. So Relay is having some website issues. So once they get that fixed, then this will be, this. needless to say, Mike's not in a uh, good mood. It'll be back today. So hang tight, that's a Relay issue. It's funny, I could pull it from, a, I could get a fresh download of it though. So I don't know how, I don't know how that works because I just deleted it and then re-added it so yeah it will be back up sometime later today so not an Apple podcast problem this is a relay FM problem we can definitely blame Apple anyway I know Mike was dealing with the relay issues this morning yeah so that's the first I've seen Someone at Apple doesn't like what you said about the Sailor Go USA. I tried not to say anything. I was going to be a good boy. Didn't even put it in the show notes. Tony, you should be proud of me. Didn't even make the cut. And then here it comes while I'm talking in the Google Docs. Here comes the app, the, the Google Doc changing. You should have been proud of me for that one, Tony. I wasn't even going to bring it up. All right. Namisu N1. I like it. Interesting. Like, I don't know where it fits in the scope of things, right, that I would use. Like, I'm going to use Kaveco's more. I'm going to use Shown more. Um, but I think what they did was a good job. So, yeah. Thumbs up. How much did I pay for this? Anyone know? The problem with that pin is there's no blue visible when it's capped. What do you mean? Or are you talking about the sailor? Because not this one. 
I feel like this is what a spoke roadie fountain pen would look like. Yeah, maybe. I'll have to show this to Brian. I wonder what, um, you know, we've certainly sketched up some ideas on it. Um, you got my N1 last week and can't put it down. How much was this pen, Marty? Do you remember? It's not on my packing list or anything. Someone look it up for me. I'm just curious. It's, I mean, certainly less than $100. Why is the word put blocked? $50? Yeah, that's a no-brainer. I like legit good job, Namisu. I this will do well. Yeah, I mean I'll spoke roadie fountain pen is not in the next round of new products but it's in like the sketching phase but yeah i mean i mean it's of course it's going to look in that ballpark um maybe not as wide this one here let's let's see what it looks like real quick site says 40 pounds okay so yeah so there's a roadie length is about the same what the question is right is can you get this number five fitting what are these measurements here right and it looks like it would definitely have to be wider to get this in here right so that's what we'd be looking at It's not out of the realm, though, is it? Like, it's certainly in the ballpark of not having to adjust too much of what it is. The, the bigger problem might be more of the ceiling problem. We'd have to probably do something with the cap. Or, I don't know. Like, we sealed the, um, the axles with O-rings at the base of the cap and the icons with o-rings at the base of the cap this is just a magnetic cap i don't know if that i don't know if this type of magnetic cap would work all right i mean it's something to think about well i'll have to look at what we have like laid out so far it's a long way away though if it is a thing i really like my gravitas entry pen isn't it great i don't think you need a roadie fountain pen i actually agree with that i would rather like just continue to make this awesomer and awesomer because I, I I mean of course I love that pen like but I think it's like just genuinely good design but I'm biased so all right Namisu W spoke oversize you might be interested in something we're messing around with Evan I don't think I've mentioned it here before but we're talking about doing a uh, axle s is already the pocket spoke yeah and I, I really like the axle designs we're messing around with some gel pen you know or some standard pen designs um we'll see i don't want to say more than that all right let's do jet pens next and then we'll save the two pen chalet pens for last so there's two boxes with one pin each i'd rather have a retractable pin based around the rt1 that you're going to see sooner than anything like a, a mini fountain pen the retractable pin is like in the probably like early next year wave of products we're going to have like a later this year wave of products then probably an early next year wave of products and the retractable is going to be in that phase just where where we're at in the year already um slumberland studio um we did get our grip sections in. I know you were asking. Uh, what are your thoughts on the upcoming Ben Walsh Pocket Fountain Pen Gravitas? I will definitely want one of those. I, I like it because I like the entry. And if you can just give me a shorter entry, I'm in. When did Jet Pen start using FedEx? Mine is out for delivery today. I don't know. It's a mix, right? Because I have this box. This is a Jet Pen's box, but I've gotten some of the other stuff from FedEx. And like, I don't know what the choice or that decision process is. So let's do this. 
Let's do this box. So this is from Jet Pins. This was stuff that I ordered for review. They use FedEx for any national orders, which makes shipping really expensive from Jet Pins. Yeah, I mean, for a while, with Spoke, you could only get international orders through UPS because we were losing too many packages with USPS. So it's just one of those no-win situations for for both sides of the ledger. All right, I need to go get a uh, paper towel and a wet paper towel because all this um, packaging stuff gets all over my hands and I hate touching the products with dirty um, mailbox hands. So give me two seconds. Talk amongst yourselves. I don't think the paper towel was good enough. I think we had to go, we had to go bigger. I don't know why, but that's one of those things that like really bugs me. My gold spot came FedEx last week. Anyone here have Robert Oster Astrexorica rot? Mine looks more brown than red. Thoughts? Yeah, uh, someone should have it. That's a very popular color, and I always thought it was more red as well all right we're just gonna go in blind on this this is stuff for upcoming giveaways or reviews so we'll see see what we got here we got a black wing Ooh, man it's all downhill from this box I tell you what This box is super winning. Oh, no, no. Go US, go USA. <laughs> you know, you know, I got that one. <laughs> got my Ultima Day. I'm astounded how lightweight it is. Yeah, it's definitely light. It was, it's surprisingly light. I got, I like light pens, so I got used to it pretty quickly. But I was like, oh wow, when I picked it up. All right, let's look at these. These will be for a giveaway on the site. In the future i have enough black wings for myself i don't need to review any black wings but i like this edition um i've given my thoughts on this edition like it's good and um i think it could have been even better so just me but this is what it looks like here don't hate me i ordered van gogh rickshaw sleeves i don't hate anyone for ordering rickshaw sleeves i have two of them sitting on my desk right now boom me and Mark go way back. We're like this. Um, but yeah, I, I, it's cool. I think this pencil's cool. I think it could have been like done a little bit differently. Like, I want this to be a little bit grimier, right? I'm just very particular about like the OG comic aesthetic that they're trying to get. This is a this is modern graphic novel novel edition, not like a comic book edition, right? That's how I visually see it. That is the fuggest eraser. I I don't disagree. I like like that was a choice. It's fine. So good addition. Step down from great addition, but again. Um, this is coming uh, to me to do a giveaway. So yeah, we'll do a giveaway. Oh, what is the core on this? Firm, so this is the 602 core, which is great. So yeah, love them. 
Okay, Mike says Relay should be back now. So hopefully everything starts processing soon. Aggressive working. All right, so real, so that there might be some propagation. Everyone peep on Brad's phone. I know I saw that under there. I don't think there was under. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Mike says uh, it might take a minute for things to start showing up. So yes, back. Oh, he keeps texting. Back, but uh, yeah. So it's actually on the site now. So that's the lot, the link. So y'all should be able to at least get it from there and then it should start propagating in your feeds again, hopefully soon. All right. I really like the Blackwing Matte Edition. What do you mean? Be more specific, Tessa. I'm, I'm not totally sure on that one. Showing up on Apple now, great. Oh, the, the MMX, I do too. Settle down, Evan. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, I got this. I'm just joking, Evan. Not really. Ooh. Ah. The sound of winter rain. Ooh, ah. Is there a Panatic Discord? No, just the Slack room. Ooh, ah. Talking about him for an Aya Penis sleeve, that would be hilarious. Ooh, this is this is like a satiny finish. This is not a uh, glossy finish. So this will be a pen attic members giveaway at some point. Man, that's nice. Nice. I don't have a. Uh, I don't have a new. Um, the short, uh, the short ones with the, the cap that just posts on the back. Um, the mini, the minis. My mini has the uh, threading on the back. I would rather have this than like the standard um, Pro Gear, like the Pro Gear Slim. Just give me one of these. That's pretty nice. Going back and chat, the reason I personally don't like FedEx for internationals is because they prepaid customs and charge a lot, even if things that don't have customs. Yeah. Yep, like I said, it's a no win situation. <laughs> oh no, Alec. I was totally on Brad's team. I don't drop my pins. And this morning I was totally on Mike's team. I think you guys jinxed me. It's very possible. Oh, uh, let me see. What was this, Tessa? Brad, how do we uh, get on the lip? Hang on one second. I, I will get to that question, the, the Ajodo. Okay, so it's just the, uh, yeah, just the, the MMX, the... The rebranding yeah i i like those that's probably i came way around on those those i didn't i didn't really like at first um here i'll show you real quick i didn't really like these at first when they first came out but i i end up this was the pencil that i learned to love when i broke my wrist and was writing left-handed brad how do we get on the list to buy the jodo do i sport relay fm or penanic.com to be eligible so i did the ajodo pen it will be for sale to the general public once I get a, once I get past the Panatic members backlog. So you don't have to subscribe to be a Panatic member, but you also get 25% off this pen, which saves you like 80 bucks on it. And that's like less than a year membership or more than a mere year membership. But you don't have to subscribe that. You'd only have to subscribe for uh, you know monthly five bucks a month but so i've talked to a jodo i was going to write this in for panatic members this week and we're going to get another we're going to get a batch of 50 made at least but they're not going to be ready until october that's just what the queue looks like right now so which is really less amount of time than when i started on these in the first place so about three months august september october so about three months um we're going to have it so there you go 
Um, so yeah, if you want to get on the list now for when this next batch comes in, you got to be a Pan Attic member to get on the list. Eventually, I will have enough for them to just be open to the public. So there we go. All right, so let me. Uh, I love the softness of this texture, Christy Kirk. I didn't know it was going to be this way. Uh, I think it's fantastic. The texture is great. It's really, really nice. I don't have any sailor pins with that texture. Yeah, MMX was always unofficial since it was just Blackwing. Yeah, I still call it the MMX. I'm a sucker for pastel pro gears. Facts. I'd like to get my father a fountain pen for about 300. He likes rhodium trim. Any ideas? He has a 1911L and a 3776 Century. I, uh, Leonardo, maybe? Or a Pilot 912? Pilot 912. If he likes the Sailor and the Platinum, a Pilot 912 is right in the middle of that. Oh yeah, the uh, Jodos are gonna the Jodos are are gonna be here for a bit. So yeah, so shockingly good. This will be a um, Panatic members giveaway at some point. I don't know if it's I don't know what I have lined up for this month, but it'll be like in the next month or two. It is called Winter Rain. Maybe I hold it for winter. So I I try to do a better job of planning these things out instead of getting caught. Sometimes they get caught behind. Comes with a converter, cartridge, yada yada. Awesome looking. Very happy with how this looks and feels. I have not tried this. Did I miss a member of Jodo launch? Uh, yeah, it was in this most current last weekend's edition of the newsletter. There's a sign-up sheet to be picked randomly for the first batch of 20. And then I will follow up in the newsletter this weekend saying that there's going to be a lot of people not able to get them, so I'm going to get an order of 50 on the way. So there you go. Yeah, I think it was uh, Johnny Gamber um, who coined it, who, who takes uh, credit for the MMX name. So yeah. All right, first two things. Let's see what else we have in the box. I pick my rain sailor all the time, even though it's a medium fine. Uh, this is also a medium fine because that's all they come in, right? I think that's the only option for that model of pen. All right, let's go. Let's see what do we got here. Oh, I guess I should look at it because it's all stuck together. Oh, we didn't read the cartoon first. I always read the cartoon first. It was just a little buried. All right, we got to read the cartoon. Then we'll do that. Do they make a Rhodium Pilot 823? I wish they don't. They do not. I wish they would do something. Uh, I think we just read this one. My first day at Jet Pens. Time to make a great impression. Cute accessory, favorite pen, professional attire, positive attitude, perfect makeup. You can do this, Joelle. Uh, hey, munch, munch, crunch. She's probably eating Cheetos in their hoodie. This uh, is the Jet Pens office, right? Not my favorite one. Sorry, Joelle. I don't know what this is. What did I order? Perpanap. Perpanap. Oh, this is that paper. This is the, okay. These are the different flavors of paper. Did Kakuyo do these? Yeah, Kakuyo. All right, we got to get all of these out at the same time, I think. And I'm gonna have to bring up the site to translate the idea. Oh, this is a, this was a bonus. This was a, a this was a throw-in. Let's hold this. That was a, yeah. These are marked not for sale. So I didn't I didn't think I ordered this size. I ordered this size. Right, right, right. So yeah, it must just be a throw-in, uh, gift with purchase, if you will. They all. So I ordered all three types of paper. We'll talk about these. So what Kakuyo did was made a range, they launched a range of papers with which they're marketing for their textures. So three different textures on the page. Basically, 
a smooth, a very smooth, and then a feedbacky type one. So we have so we have Suru Suru, Zara Zara, and Sarah Sarah. So the idea is ah, man, it's not translated. I'm gonna have to pull up the site. So there's three different textures for smoothness. So I can tell a big difference between these two just in feeling them. And this one probably feels in the middle. So let's see. Smooth and very smooth feel about the same feedback you one is much different. I can definitely tell which one's the feedback you one. So the notebook line is called Purpanep. I don't know if I'm saying that right. So Sarah Sarah is this one. It is is the balance paper. The classic balance of smooth and texture is Sarah Sarah. So this is the medium standard. Probably feels like a Midori type of page. The texture may align with the graphic on the covers. God, you are so smart, Jesse, or Strange Camel. Sorry. Look at this. Genius. Hang on. Cross my arms here. Look at that. Smooth, in between, textured. Genius. There you go. So Sarah Sarah is the medium one. Balanced, they call it. Let's see what they call these other ones. But that is how you can tell. Thank you so much. So Suru Suru they call ultra smooth and the Zara Zara they call textured for the scratch scratching sound. Okay. So yeah. This will be a test on figuring out, hey, do we like the ultra textured one? Do we like the super smooth one? Or do we like the balanced one? Uh, yeah, I'll have to try pins on those. You can't tell, just hand feel. You can't really tell too much difference. The texture one, you can definitely tell a difference. Um, the texture one definitely has more than the uh, than the bank paper. So I guess this little set is this one of each? It doesn't say. If this is one of each, we can give away this set. Oh. Hmm. It's got. Are there any different words on the back here? Let me see. Because if this is a set of the three different ones, we'll give away this little mini set today to, for testing purposes. can't really tell anything all right it has the pick type on the front I didn't see them there it had all three right or am I miss miss looking at it so it's got all three Maybe it's all three in each. Oh, that's what it is. It's all three in each. They're divided on the inside. There we go. Thank you. They're divided on the inside. Oh, 
oh look they even mark them on the page so this as the tester so smooth or ultra smooth balanced and then textured there we go there we go so I'll just include these in the like the next giveaways I'll include one of these in, in each yeah cool so the next when I do a giveaway today I'll include one of these in the next three giveaway winners will include these um, little sets cool so that'll, that'll be an interesting test we'll, we'll figure this out see how it goes but it's something Kakuyo is leaning into saying you know kind of um, figure out your own paper figure out your new, your paper your paper style what are what are you gonna like the most this texture is pretty I think it's gonna be pretty aggressively textured <laughs> from just touching it like i think bank paper's textured bank paper is ultra smooth compared to how this zara zara feels like right off the perpinep i know it's a it's a hard name to say what do they say uh named for an anagram combining the words pen and paper perpinep so it's pen and paper but an anagram that's a little try hard right so it's an anagram for pen paper. That's that's a board meeting gone wrong. That's a design meeting that ran out of ideas. Like, I'm all about anagrams, but at least let me say it. <laughs> at least like make like perpinep is just hard to say. I don't know. Yeah, that's a that's a board meeting gone wrong. All right. They dropped these on the site. I don't know what these are. These Japanese onomatopoeia for the paper textures are hard. Um, what is this called? They dropped these on the site. I don't know totally what they are, but they looked interesting. It was Pilot. What I noticed on, on the JetPen site was, I was like, why do they have orange and turquoise Pilot ink cartridges on the site? sold separately and then i saw these pins i'm trying to find y'all the name because it's not here that i can read so this is the pilot spare sign pin so let me pull this up good morning queen elizabeth how are you today i've been up daddy you've been up daddy i've been up daddy ask your doctor if your perpinep if perpinep is right for you that's right there's elizabeth you want to say hey she is very go USA today. Oh yeah, I'm about to get a USA cowboy hat, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, my friend's bringing me one today. <laughs> it's sparkly. Nice. I'm gonna be wearing my USA bottoms when I go swimming. Mm -hmm. Swim party today at the house. Summer's almost over. Are yeah. you happy about that? I just gotta party it up till the end of summer. Party it up till the end of summer. This is my life now, Chad. Welcome. Yeah. Because I'm getting old and a lot of my friends can drive now. All right, see ya. Look how many people want to say hey to me. I know. <laughs> I'm just so loved. You are so loved. Elizabeth's life is a party. Yes, that's Mike. Uh, Ink Dependence Mike. Yep. All right. Adios. How come Elizabeth has a southern accent, but Dad doesn't? That's a great question. Y'all always make fun of my voice. <laughs> Honestly, we think it's because of her teachers, right? I We think, like, most of the teachers have that accent. Oh, you look very cute today, they say. Thanks. And she leans into it. Don't go, like, don't let her oh, fool you. Dude. <laughs> Maybe not. I, okay, sometimes words may sound more southern, but I don't, like, mean it to happen. And then y'all just say... Daddy. <laughs> like, come on. I do have an accent. Uh, she has a very southern accent. I have a southern accent, but not it's not really strong or pronounced. All right. So these are called the Spilot, Pilot Spare Pen. I can't click through this screen as much as I want to. I can click through this one now. So... It's a cartridge-filled marker pen. 
essentially, as best as I can tell, right? Right, so it's gonna have a cartridge that's gonna pop in. It's going to saturate the fiber feed and then it's going to be a marker. Um, so you can use Pilot's ink cartridges with them. Those are the three barrel colors. I got the clear because I like to see the insides, but it's essentially kind of a fancy marker so yeah i don't know like more of a let's see how this goes kind of thing if you will um so what color cartridge does it come with it looks kind of like a blue black cartridge it comes with jet pans uh blue black ink cartridges and then this is what i saw at first were these whoops wrong wrong camera wrong camera super switch thank you for the follow appreciate you um this doesn't go with this this is something i ordered extra so i saw these i saw these i was like oh why do they have orange and turquoise cartridges you usually you can't god dang it I keep hitting the wrong camera sorry great to have coffee everyone have a great day see you kind of writes so I saw these on jet pens. I was like, oh cool, I could always use some orange or turquoise pilot uh, cartridges because they're hard to find separately. And then these were next to them. And I was like, oh, well maybe they're for this pen, which I mean, they technically are. I just don't know how much, I don't know. I have a lot of questions about this. Like, how would I use it? Like, how would I use a cartridge fillable refillable marker which is interesting i don't think that they have like spare tip parts yeah i don't i'm not seeing like spare parts hey super switch no problem glad you're here we just chilling and hanging about and talking about pens so yeah glad you made it does the fiber of that pen wash out or do you have to chuck it and replace it that's what i was just looking for replacement tips i don't see a replacement tip I would think it's removable. Let's open this up. Let's let's get inside this. What was the verdict on those Perpenep notebooks? Um, it's three different textures, and we're just gonna have to test to see if they have something like really going here, or is really just like one of them. Like, is the balance just kind of the best, and the other ones will be set to the way set? Oh, check it out. There's an extra tip in the uh, in the packaging, which I didn't even see till I opened it up. So hopefully, it would be cool if they sold replacement tips. That would be smart. But yeah, I'm guessing you could wash it out. Like this is just going to involve a lot of testing. Can, is this I'm trying to push this out without breaking it? This looks attached in there pretty well. So maybe you could soak it and then dry it out. So there's like a little feed system in here. So there's like a feed to help keep the uh, keep the wick saturated, if you will. So that's a little part there that this wick type of feed goes through. And then it just screws in there. So if I wanted to use two colors, like I could, then I could rinse the feed, but then I have like a loose tip. I don't really, I have a loose tip and an ink cartridge that I don't really have a home for because these don't attach together, right? The cartridge just attaches back into this area, right? Attaches to the feed. It's gonna saturate the feed first and then the wick, and then that'll wick it down into the tip. Um interesting i don't know a lot of questions right which is why i like this i like this product test it you can see that i'm like hesitant to test it because i want to do it right the first time and i want to think of jet pens has replacement tips pack of three i wonder why they're not on the the, the page 
there must just be in a like a refill section recommended refills and parts okay you're right they're in the recommended refills and parts here it is real quick so three tips for two dollars thank you sir cobalt i was not aware of that which makes sense that makes complete sense it fits a standard pilot cartridge it should fit a standard pilot converter for flushing purposes yeah you could use a con will a converter fit in here almost certainly a converter fits in here I'm trying to think if i have one on the desk i don't i have a con 70 in my milky way that might be too big not all of pilot's pins fit the con 70. let me look real quick clean the tip in the ultrasonic yeah i honestly i think probably just soaking it would be the best yeah like the con 70 gosh dang it i'm not good at switching my so i just took apart my milky way con 70 doesn't fit in here so we'll have to see if the con 40 or 50 fits I'm not sure offhand. They're the same size as the cartridge, same length, so they should fit. That makes sense. I just don't have one in here right now to, to confirm. But yeah, that makes sense. Because these are standard length cartridges. These are not these are not like the Pettit cartridges or the Petite cartridges. Right? These are the full length standard pilot cartridges. So I think the only question I have left is, do I go with the blue black or the orange? We'll probably go with the orange. So let's, uh, I will ink this up. Let's see what it looks like. So the, yeah, the squeeze type converter, I would actually use the cartridge before I use those squeeze converters. That's how much I dislike those converters in particular. All right. So let's do this. All right, so we'll use, um, this is just the standard orange, pilot orange ink cartridge. This is the blue black. Hey, new blue black cartridges. I won the Hippo Nodo giveaway and got the new paginated A5NB before my Kickstarter order is shipped. This thing is huge. Shocked Pikachu face on the shipping. All right. There was no real snap in there, just more of a smudge but I see it working through the feed. Let's see. Already you can see it coming into the tip, right? So you can see it working. Pretty quick. So I'm just trying to see how quick it'll saturate the upper end of the cone on there it's still got some work to do but we'll see we'll put it back together and let it work its magic so you can see the ink trundling down now more what did we decide this pen was called pilot spare sign pen It's definitely a marker. You know what? That's kind of cool. It's very inky. It actually looks like it. some of the fibers are even breaking off in my lines. I'll show you all in a second. We'll have to see.
I don't think I've ever used Pilot's orange ink though. It is very inky. Like, would you eyedropper this? I, I don't know how you would meter it through the feed. I almost think it would, I almost think it would be too much for the feed to handle. For what it is, it works very well. It works exactly as intended. I'm just trying to figure out what the use case is. I mean, if you like markers that you can use fountain pen ink for, I'll tell you what, it writes hella good. Right, look at that. But I was wondering, I was getting these specs here. You see these specs in this? I'm wondering if that's like the tip shearing off from just starting to use it. There's one there, there's two in this section. I don't know if y'all can see that. It would be cool for coloring. You would need, that's the thing is it's $16, right? And like if I'm gonna take this apart and use another color, like I don't have a great place to put this. You got them for drawing? It's gonna be awesome for using fountain pen inks for drawing. Could be the fiber of the paper, not necessarily the tip. Could be. So this is the uh, this is life bank paper. It could be that I'm just affecting the page. We'll try a different page because I am. You can see them here as well, right? Right there at the top. Right here on the edge. Um, it's interesting. So this is, let's try the croquis. If you can get the ink property such as shading from a marker, that would be cool. Yeah, I agree with that. I'll tell you what, this tip works great. Be in mostly interested to see how long it lasts. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything really on this page. So maybe you're right. Maybe it is the paper that was leaving those little marks. It is very inky, which is good. I'm definitely getting some tip breakdown already. Can I do a visually item today? Huh? Can I do a visually item? Uh, no, because we're not going to have time. Um, we're going to do it later. All right. You can shut the door on your way out. Thanks. Okay. I'll text you if, if we do. Okay. Yeah, so I don't see any residue on here, so maybe it was the paper. So there you go. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's cool. It's cool. Is it $16 cool? To be determined. All right. Uh, it's, it's definitely something to talk about, which is a product I like. Would you, what would make you recommend that over the felt tip pilot petite? Yeah, I have no idea. It's cause it's probably the same. It's probably in the petite It's probably the same tip system larger ink cartridges in the sign. Um, but yeah, I would wager it's the same tips, the, the felt tip system. Platinum has this one for $3. Yeah, the refillable markers. Yeah, like that's, that's kind of what I'm coming, the conclusion I'm coming to towards the end is like, it's pretty expensive compared to what other companies are doing with the same product, including Pilot themselves. Brad, do you like the feel of the Shona Ultim capping with the O-ring? Yes, it makes me, uh, 
it makes me think every time is like that it's not a uh, a screw system like I should just pull this off because it, it has a different type of uh, feedback on there right so it's I feel like it should be like a more of a snap cap type situation but it's screws but no it's great definitely like it all right uh, let's move on I spent a lot of time on that one um, let's do it let's let's pause for a giveaway should we pause for a giveaway should we let Elizabeth come pick a giveaway item Elizabeth We'll do a pause for a giveaway, then we'll keep going. We have a lot more to get to. All right, while we're waiting for her, we'll look at this. The the petite is cuter. Yeah, it's not as cute as this, though. Look at this. I got polar bears on my zebra sarasa clip, blue black. Now that's cooler than everything. Here she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. All right, pick one out for me. Since I got a, a bunch more to do, we're gonna do a kind of a halfway, halfway point giveaway. If you just do one or two for me, get here in like forty minutes or something. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. They also have the Pokemon Sarasas. Yes, they do. Didn't I read somewhere that the petites were discontinued? Yeah, I, I don't know. Get composted. Are the pilot spare sign pins plastic? Yes. No, they're 100% plastic, even the red and the black ones. What do we got here? Elizabeth says this. Oh, nice. Mab Graves, Alvin, Draftmatic. These were a limited edition. An awesome, awesome, a legit cool mechanical pencil. I bought two sets of one set for me to keep, one set for me to give away. We've been giving away a few of these. This is the standard model. This is the 0.5. They do a 0.3. Uh, she did a 0.3 and then a 0.7, and they're like in a pinky pastel and a purple pastel color, kind of like these colors in the background. So this is the standard size 0.5 Mab Graves Limited Edition Alvin Draftmatic. Awesome. I'm good at picking up Completely stuff. awesome product. One of my faves. Let's give this away. Good pick, Elizabeth. All right, let's give this away. You are good at picking out things. Let's see. So I'm, one of these things about unboxing day is I, I kind of bury my laptop. Ugh. All right, where are we? So Alvin Mab. Graves. I love this product. I hope you do too. And also go follow Mab Graves. She's an awesome artist. Follow her on Instagram. All right, let me see if I can make myself some room. You know what? Has anyone cashed in a hydrate recently? I am thirsty. I might need to up the timer on the hydrate. Let me spit in here. All right, that's going to go there for now. This is actually good. Give me a second to uh, reconfigure the desk situation that we have going on here. man correctly posture check gosh that's another one they need <sighs> hydrate hydrate <clears throat> all right about 30 seconds left for this mab graves limited edition collaboration with alvin mechanical pencils this is the Alvin, this is the classic Alvin Draftmatic, one of the great mechanical pencil designs of all time. Thank you, Mafia Geek. I've already drank that whole cup today. 
I need to go refill. Because we are a long way from done, chat. Big stream today. Brad, have you tried any of the Euchre's pins? No, but these are the same theory, right? Um, and the Euchre's pins, I think, are cool. I think we've had a review on the blog. I've had some sent to me. I forget if, if any of the reviewers actually reviewed one of them. Um, I don't recall. So, anyway, this is my... This is just something that I grabbed for me to use. 0.5 Zebra Sarasa clip with polar bears. This is a meat pen. I've got one for my family for Christmas and it's still in the box. Yeah, I do the re I do like the Euchers because of the tip sizes. They can get smaller tip sizes on the Euchers. All right, uh, pick a winner. Kelsey, Kelsey, you have won the Mab Graves. I think recent winner Kelsey, if I'm not mistaken. All right, Kelsey, I'm just a kid at heart. I'm, I'm totally a kid at heart. You know, I I turn a very old age here in about a month and i'm not looking this is the first time i've ever like not been happy about the number attached to my age but you know what it is just a number i'm not it's not going to change how, how i am or who i am or let it define me right but i am having a bit of a i'm having thoughts on that and not good thoughts i'm like oh, 60s not that bad settle down settle down all right, Kelsey, are you there? Oh, yep, you're there. All right, yeah, shoot me your uh, email address when you get a chance. <clears throat> you're probably younger than some of the people watching this stream. I highly doubt that. <laughs> How old do you think I am? Uh, get composted. I'll put you on the spot. There's no wrong answer. <laughs> There's no wrong answer. Next year, you're 60. Be glad to be here. Facts, Carol. That's why I love you so much. You're so positive all the time. You, you you are life goals. Based on what you say, I'd say 40. I'll be 50 in about 30 days. Yep. The big 5-0. 40 didn't bother me. 45 didn't bother me. 35 didn't bother me. Cal Riddle, 63. All right. I got two of y'all beat. We're good with that. <laughs> 65 here. All right. All right. I like it. I like it. Hey, again. This keeps us young, young at heart. <sighs> Look what I got, chat. <laughs> Thank you, Daring Lunch Meat. I have been blessed with um, a decent amount of hair that hasn't turned gray. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. That's, that's my, uh, the driving force. They made me do it, chat. Ruler Mafia made me do it. I'm 38 and have more gray than you. Yeah, like my friends definitely started turning in their 30s and I don't know why. Yeah, 40 I 40 legit didn't bother me like one iota. 50 I'm actually thinking a little too much about, which it'll be fine. Hey, love you, Carol. I love all of y'all. This is why we do this. We have fun. Um, Ruler Mafia says, Brad... You need a foldable ruler. Is ruler mafia right? To be determined. Ooh, hide it from the wife? No, but I think I'm going to use that uh, for the two pins that I just bought over here. <laughs> it was definitely tid Kid 2 that killed my hair. It was Kid 1 that like killed my, like, my like stress levels. Like, I've never been... Uh, unstressed again <laughs> in my life <laughs> so ruler mafia says brad you're doing it wrong if you don't have a foldable ruler <laughs> it's great here in the no f's given club i like that i like that a lot <sighs> do i need a foldable ruler I, I i don't know we're gonna try it i'm getting along well with the brass so far all right 
I'm getting along well with this one. It's actually aging pretty well for me using it right. I'm, it's patinaing nicely. Speaking of which, uh, Namiki Winter, Vlad, you owe me a picture for this week. Um, I am constantly checking out Namiki Winter's Vlad's uh, Raw Brass um, Retro 51. I'm getting a weekly picture. I've not seen it this week. Um, like, I'm feeling this. Like, this has been good. I understand the concept here. Right? And I actually like the edge on this one a little bit better. It's a little bit more tapered edge here for, like, tearing paper. Um, which I do like so I, I did this whoops we're gonna start the sticker wall this more uh, you can't really see it right now we'll sh I'll show you all later but I'm gonna start putting the stickers up on the ice box of happiness so I use my ruler to tear paper because I don't have any scissors in here I hide my nice scissors like the family's family uh, steals my scissors so do the sides overlap yeah so there's like a trough here right so it goes over i'm trying to get you the best lit angle so it goes over and then she has uh more measurements on this single side here so it slots in So there's that overlap right there. They missed the chance to put an angle measure on. I think this is not the only one I ordered. I think I've ordered like five rulers. <laughs> um, I just don't like how many times am I going to use it in the open position, right? Like how long am I going to, how many times am I going to use it like this? compared to what I need it for, like this, right? There's an angle measure on the button. Oh, there sure is. I would have never seen that. Does it have a sticker on it? You can barely see it there. There sure is. I don't think I would have ever noticed that if you didn't say it. You never know when you need to emergency measure something, but like, what am I measuring? that I'm, I'm not, I can't accomplish here in my life, right? Hey, look, like all the things are like this size. <laughs> but you know, I guess I could measure the full length of the A5, right? Is the A5 accurate? Did they tell me the correct dimensions here? I don't know, is A5 19 and a half centimeters? I only know the inch measurement, I don't know. So. We'll see. We'll see. The funny thing, which I, I find this funny, is this is Midori and this is Travelers. Same company. Same company. All right. I'm going to put this back in the packaging for now because I'm making too big of a mess on this desk. We'll see. Like It's like a la label maker. You just start measuring everything. I don't disagree with that sentiment because there's been times where I've had to take a field notes notebook and measure, like I needed to measure something longer than say 15 centimeters. Taking the field notes, so that would be five and a half inches. So they probably have five inches on the inside. And I took it on an A5 sheet of paper because I needed like seven inches marked off the inches and then scooted it down and marked off two more inches so i had a piece of paper that was had seven inch markings on there so i could figure out how to measure something <laughs> so i've done stupid things to get fuller length measurements so i just don't know for my stationary usage needs do i need foldy boy do i need foldy boy it's pink and it's metal. Why didn't I see a pink one? I would order the pink one instead of the black one. Maybe I ordered more. Is there anything else in this box? There's something else. <laughs> That's funny. 
All right, one more thing in this box. Then we have two pins to open from Pin Shallot. <laughs> this needs its this needs its own space. <laughs> this could be a Sman situation. Uh, my caliper only goes to about six uh, inches, and sometimes pins a little longer than that. So yeah, need a ten inch caliper. That would be sick. All right. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. You think Foldy Boy makes more sense than the not Foldy one? Takes up minimal more space and you have extra measuring distance if you need it. I don't disagree with that stretch. I, I get it. Like, it's like, why not, right? I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. It's a penguin pouch. <laughs> So you can put things in the penguin's booty. <laughs> I just saw it and ordered it. I don't know. Maybe it holds those ink cartridges from the pilot, from the pilot guy. There's a bunch of ones. There is like pig ones and things. It's rubber. It's rubberized, right? So it's like squishy rubber. Uh, washi tape. Yeah, that would be good. We can put the wash. Let's go ahead and do that. Cause he's gonna stay on the desk. He'll have to get a name. So the washi tape goes in his booty. So, yeah, it could hold. It could hold a lot of washi tape penguin coin purse something like i was already ordering uh, like a bajillion dollar sailor pin the least i could do is order like a few dollar uh penguin case and use it for something it's a, if nothing else it's a fun desk accessory he can sit next to the smand i'll have to come up with a name so lihit lab makes these uh nico roby pouch Puni Labo. So there's all kinds of different ones. There's cat ones. Oh, they have washi tape and stickers. Yeah, it's like basically like your desk accessory stuff. Like your pins aren't going to fit in here, right? It's not for pins, but it's all for all these other little accessories that we acquire, you know, as, as stationary people. So little Pingu will hang out on the desk here. Right now he's got washi keep calling him a he he doesn't have to be a he he could be a they he could be a she he could be anything anything i want the penguin to be so yeah there we go <laughs> oh you know what the penguin could be penguin could be a, a pen holder for a pen i'm about to open so like see oh maybe not see pen holder what do you think the penguin thinks like that? Smingwin next to the smand? Exactly. So yeah. The penguin we just get for fun. We're not gonna do anything with it. We're just gonna hang out with it. Keep it here on the desk. I'll probably, I think washi tape's probably the move because this is the only roll I have on here and I need to get some more rolls and I just need. <laughs> it. You know what the, the difference, Tessa, and this is how pedantic I am. Those were brass teeth. These are plastic teeth. Those brass teeth are very no bueno. Next to an acrylic. <laughs> we need TPA washi. I've had designs. I've had quotes. I've just never done it. I should do it. It feels a little, uh, I don't know, feels a little much. That's a lot. It feels a little much, but I'll, I'll still probably do it. I mean, that's never stopped me before. I mean, hello. <laughs> Being a little much has never stopped me before, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But, like, who really wants that and their uh, their things? Actually, um, did y'all see Joshua Daniels' logo this morning? I'm feeling like I need a logo refresh. Not like change the logo, but like, like the, I need some I need some visual upgrades. Maybe for the 15th anniversary of the blog in a year. That'll give me time to work on a, a, an upgrade path for uh, the visual blog visuals. All right. Two boxes to go. One pin in each box. Let's go. You should have a friend's washi, friend's doodles of use. That would be hilarious. I think the uh, the pin attic logo would actually work well for a washi design. I mean, minus the coffee stains. Like, that's just a well-loved coaster, but... 
we could do um we could do something cool with that definitely not opposed to it all right so i have two boxes from pen chalet now that's a good idea miss g's crafties is we do like an, an emote based um washi tape washi that just says smand over and over um i think i know the difference between these two boxes and i'm gonna guess which means i'm mains see my daughter does get some of it for me which means i'm gonna open the smaller first both of these are from pen chalet both of these are pens that i've ordered um with just the regular pen addict discount so they're also straight up filthy which i hate like I don't mind getting dirty, but when I want to be when I'm clean, I want to stay clean, and when I get dirty, I just commit to being dirty. This I have to touch nice things with dirty hands, and I don't like it. Chat, I do not like it. Bugs me, and it gets on my desk too. Smand might sue me, especially if Kaveco owns them. I don't want Sman to sue me for using their name. Baby wipes for the desk. I should probably get like a little container in here. You have my attention. This is the one I ordered for me, Mike, for my personal use. Because I gave away my orange one. Like back when the orange one came out, back in the kind of the first few runs orange one, I had the orange one. This is not, I've ordered this one before the new black and orange um, rings one came out. So yeah, this is the black stripes edition. This is my pen for my pen library. Um, I'll, I'll review it probably, but I bought this for me as opposed to like the sailor we had before. I bought that for y'all. This one I bought for me. I mean, right? Like, I was going to buy the, the bright blue one, which I think looks so good. And then I saw this one, and it was on pre-order. Oh, and it's got a gray section. That's even better. yeah it was hard to photograph it's actually a little bit more satiny matte feeling than it looked like really shiny and glossy on the site i will say that it's just sharp it's just sharp af right like they do such a good job on this i kind of wish this would be black. Like it's like a shade off of the clip. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's the lighting. I was going to say maybe it, ma it, make, it should match the clip. It actually does match the clip. I think it's just the uh, the space that it's on. So yeah, okay. Never, I rescind that comment. It does match the clip in the uh, other hardware of the pen. I would get this with, this with black with colored stripes. I wouldn't put that past them because all of this is like filled in. So I could see them doing a black one and doing some other ones. Is it heavy? It's medium. Um, Y'all want me to do some weights? Should we get out the scale? We haven't broken out the scale today. But it, I don't find it overly heavy, heavy but it is not lightweight. Uh, it's good. It, I, I like that it's snap cap too, as opposed to twist. It's, it's very clean very sharp very well done it's about it's definitely the same weight as the other arrows it's not it's not in particularly heavier than those i don't believe but i haven't held one in a while oh no is it at my desk oh doo -doo. my scale's in the other room <clears throat> i really like the diplomat excellent waves just can't do big pins Probably same as the factory, but with lacquered stripes. 
So yeah, very cool. This came out great. Measured with the folding ruler. <laughs> This would actually fit in the smaller ruler. That was my that was my argument. You're making my argument for me. See, it fits. We don't. Who needs it? We don't need a folding ruler if they all fit in less than 15 centimeters. <laughs> See, we don't need no stinking folding ruler. All right, we'll leave that one out because I think aesthetically it's going to work with this next pen. This next pen was definitely more of a risk. And this was a, a on a whim sale purchase of a pen that I wanted since it first came out, but was never really like dead set on getting it. So if that's Darth Vader, what do y'all think we have here? I mean, I said it on on the podcast last week. That's Darth Vader. I do have a podcast. What could we possibly have here? It's a podcast about pens. This is stepping out for me, but it's kind of been it's been on my radar radar. Radar. Tuscan Raider. It's been on my radar since the original Homo sapiens came out in the black lava. It's not another Spand. Definitely not another Spand. This is the Blizzard. This is the Blizzard. Uh, Homo sapiens Blizzard. Extra fine. Risky purchase for me. Why? Why aren't Nakaya's a risky purchase for me? Well, because I have a bunch of them. I know what they are. I know what to expect. I know that when I spend the money on a Nakaya, I'm going to be happy. Visconti, I've never done this really before. Um, the models of the pen haven't always spoken to me. The nibs have had historically had QC issues. The price is generally outrageous. But this one checked a lot of the aesthetic boxes for me. Right? I like the material. I like that they colorized them this year. So there's a red one, and then Mike says there's a sand one. It's kind of the tannish brown one. Um, it feels great. It's a really unique feel. I happen to like the Visconti clip. Um, you know, un unlike my podcast partner, Mike with a Y. Um, it's got the logo here on the band. The only thing this doesn't have that some of the other ones have is the uh, the lock, uh, the thread locks, but it's got a magnet cap. So this that's a little different in this aspect. So Visconti has also switched to gold nibs, actual real live gold nibs, not palladium nibs. Uh, hook system, thank you, I couldn't think of the name. So I think these are 18K or 14K, 14K. So instead of the palladium nib, this is a great nib design as well. So instead of the palladium nib, they've gone with gold nibs. Um, and it's a piston filler, right? Or what are they? Don't they have a smancy name for these? How hard do I do? I have to pull this harder or twist it more? Pull it harder. So it's a piston filler. All right. See you, Sarah. So yeah, um, I'm a little bit concerned about dipping this into the ink. <laughs> Should I be? Power filler, thank you. See, that's I just don't do Visconti's very much, so I don't have all the terminology down. But it feels good, it looks great. 
don't be concerned with dipping it okay it should be fine like because you know like a blue black ink's probably going to go in here and you poured ink all over one in your review dang so all right piston filler no ink window which is fine that doesn't bother me much does the nib twist out does it come out at all i don't know so yeah while i feel like supremely confident i'm gonna love this pen am i gonna love this as much it's also a big pen for me bulk bulk wise um but it's not overly heavy like it feels good the sections a little short it's not super long you need a special tool for the nib gotcha i poured red noodler's ink on it they said i could so i did good so yeah it must be if you can't get the nib out and there's no way to separate uh the barrel to get to the filling system and you need a tool to get it out there's no way they're gonna let this stain right Oop, we almost dropped it so yeah I am uh, anxious to get this tested out and to try it out. The magnet is very interesting. Actually, I didn't even know it had a magnet cap when I ordered. I figured it was just like the, the locky guy. Did Visconti improve the quality control of their nibs? Yes. They even changed nib materials from palladium to gold to help manage that aspect of it. So this will be my first test of one of their new nibs nib size extra fine so when i buy pens for me i'll usually get an extra fine cambridge massachusetts was calling i guess that's for my harvard fellowship uh, i like pen studies yeah and then i know yeah i almost dropped a pen um then i know a lot of their nibs are getting additionally tuned, at least here in the U.S., by a certain uh, nib grinder. I don't know if all of them fall into that category. It might only be uh, certain ones. So, yeah. I thought the nib session just unscrews. It unscrews. It's going be tight, so there's a tool that fits in slots to undo it. Gotcha. I'm not going to worry about it. If it's fine to dip it, then we're good. The magnet cap is good because with white lava resin, you might need to scrub a little bit to clean the ink just with water. See, don't tell me that. I'm just saying I want to dip this in. <laughs> I was about to do a state joke. Uh, if anyone's familiar with the state comedy troupe, I will refrain from doing that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to dip this in an ink bottle, a rather large ink bottle, because this is going to be... Um, a thing yeah so it has to be designed to clean right off right i went for a while without the tool and got it when i found out just to be a little safer <laughs> jd lady knows ken marino knows yeah evan y'all know i could have gone there i restrained self self-restraint is one of those things that does come with age where you know what i don't have to say the thing it would be okay if i didn't say it, it some things go are better unsaid um, I'm very anxious about this pen in a, in a positive way. Anxious in I want to use it and I want it to be good for me. Um, I don't do the catch and release thing. I don't like buy things to try, but I won't hesitate. Like if I find out it doesn't work for me, I will sell it. Um, but I'm not looking at it as this kind of catch and release thing. Do I own any Viscontings? You know what? I think I have the old Visconti turquoise. Should I use that? That would be a good color for this, right? See you, Mike. Are you streaming today? So yeah, I might try that Visconti turquoise has always been a good color. So I might try that. Yeah, turquoise is, that's why I would definitely gonna use a blue in this pen. And the turquoise might be the, the right call, especially if it's the Visconti turquoise. Cool. All right, so we have new pens to ink up, new pens to play with. I'll have to figure out when I'm gonna do that because I still have lots of fun pins inked up already right now. Lamy would be good too. The Lamy turquoise, isn't that a great color? I do have the uh, the Ackermann turquoise, uh, Trevi Trevis turquoise. I have that. That's a good I, 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 option. Uh, Visconti blues always one of them in my top blues. 
I love the idea of using lava as a material. Yeah, I'm surprised that it's taken me this long to own this type of pen. See what you did there, Evan. Um, I'm surprised it took me this long because I love the Homo sapiens. I just had so many questions, right? Um, oh, I got to sneeze. All this box dust is getting me. Okay, I'm going to be done soon. Pick me out one. Elizabeth's here to pick out another uh, giveaway item. We have a second giveaway item today. Thank you all. <clears throat> I'm back. So, yeah, I, I, you know, the traditional Homo sapiens always had like the copper or the bronze, and I could never bring myself to that because I'm obviously like, I don't like the gold colors like for hardware. <clears throat> Um, <clears throat> and then they made the silver one, but it was actually like legit sterling silver inlay. So it was more expensive. This was actually, by the time I got the sale and the discount, it was just a little over $500, which was, it's obviously crazy expensive. There's, there's no doubt that that's a very expensive pen, <clears throat> but for this pen, that's a really good price. So that's why I just, that's what finally pushed me over the edge was the price was good enough. All right, Elizabeth, <laughs> Elizabeth has gone secrety. It's confidential. It's confidential. So this is a set of notebooks, never been opened. Who do, who made these? Don't even have their name on it. Nomad, Nomad made these. Confidential, secrety. We'll give those away in a second. <clears throat> <clears throat> so yeah like i uh they finally when they came out with this series i was like oh i might finally get one of these and either the red or the white and yeah that's where we're at that's where we're at so lots to play with lots to figure out um let me go ahead and box these back up for the time being while i have a mess going and then i need um kelsey you're gonna get a pad of the the extra uh the perpinep i wish i i wish they wouldn't have told me on uh i wish kaveco wouldn't have told me that this is an anagram for pen paper that makes it worse actually um so kelsey you get a you get a you get that paper and then whoever wins this nomad conspiracy nobix you're gonna get the the perpinep <laughs> Perpineps. I can't say that without laughing. What a terrible name. Um, wow. Okay. All right. Let me scoop this stuff away. Oh, I did get one more thing in my pen chalet order. I'll show you real quick. If you ever order a cross pen, make sure it comes with a converter. <laughs> My Cross ATX did not ship with the converter. I refused to use the ink cartridge that it shipped with. So I had to order this. So I ordered a converter and then this pen actually jumped into my shopping cart. That's what happened actually. That's how they get you chat. You go for the converter, you come away with the expensive pen. Oh, warranty department. Stupid warranty department. <clears throat> All right. There we go. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's for my Cross ATX. I'll finally get to use it now. All right, let's do this giveaway, and then we'll call it a day. We'll see if we can raid someone. I need to hydrate. I need to drain. That was an expensive converter. <laughs> exactly, Miss Cheese Crafty. That was a very expensive converter. <clears throat> All right. All right, Smand. Hold your stuff. All right. Let's do this. All right giveaway is open for this set of nomad confidential notebooks the conspiracies pack i don't know what's in there 
and then you get the Perpineps. Worst name ever. Worst name ever. <clears throat> and the penguin's going to watch over it until you get your stuff, until we pick a winner. Oh, and the polar bears. You don't get all that stuff, though. That's my stuff. Some of this is your stuff. Some of this is my stuff. <clears throat> all right, then while y'all do that, I'm going to see if we can throw it to somebody today. See who we can raid. <clears throat> hey, that came up on the wrong screen. Cool beans. <gasps> Dark Sunlight Live is streaming. We're going to toss it to her almost certainly. Let me just bounce around. I really like her stream. She's got a really cool, chill vibe that I love. <clears throat> that pingy is stupid cute, right? Like, I shouldn't even show this to you. It's not fair. So yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna go hang with Dark Sunlight Live when we're done. Uh oh, I think she just went she went unlive. All right, any recommendations? Mike is streaming games. We can always throw it to Mike. I wish the penguin be could be clipped. To what? To a bad? Let's see. Anything else interesting? Doodling and chill. Patness, the sadness. That's an interesting name. Uh, 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 uh. Do y'all want to go chill with Mike? Oh, bag, bag, bag. It probably could. I mean, it's got one of these type of zippy things. You could probably just like get a hook and hook it into it, right? You have enough room to attach something else onto it. <clears throat> Whoa. All right, let's pick a winner, and then we'll pick a raid. Oh, here we go. Buy that bunny. That's what we're going to do. We'll go there in just a second. All right, let me pick a winner. Michelle PT? Michelle PT? Come on, Rafflebot. Eh, didn't get you, Killer Jeep. You are the winner. <clears throat> first time, first time winner. Congrats. So, oh, we got to go in the penguin to get my washi tape. Um, now I have room for more washi tape. I like this. All right, so we will. You will email me hello at penank com, and I, in turn, will ship this notebooks and the purple the purple nap. I'm just gonna call these the purple nipples. These papers. I really don't dislike that name now that I found out about it. All right, so those will go to you. Awesome, congratulations. And I think that's a wrap today, chat. What do y'all think? Is that a wrap today? Um, always welcome, JD lady, always welcome. Um, still feels weird not having a stream until Tuesday, but I guess that's what we're doing again, maybe. I might have some free time this weekend. We might actually do some planning streaming this weekend. Um, I might have some time for that. We'll see, we'll think about it. Um, definitely not something I will schedule. Um, it would just be kind of an ad hoc thing. We're gonna raid um, by that bunny who's doing a planner layout. All right, so y'all go say hi. Thanks for hanging out. Fun boxing today. Really enjoyed it. Um, it was excellent. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad we got to test some of that stuff out. And uh, until next time, thanks for hanging out. I'll talk to you soon.